What's up, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Welcome to your February tarot reading. I feel like, first of all, happy birthday. Second of all, you guys are leveling up. Your power, because Pluto just entered your sign, so the power that you have access to now and for the next 20 year cycle, this is huge. There are big, big doors opening for you. I feel like there's a whole new life waiting for you on the other side. And you just need to arrive and fully commit to starting this new adventure. So I'm really excited for you. You have the world card here in the dead center. You also have the emperor. So like you are really ready to take charge, okay? And with the two of wands reverse, like you are gonna be taking charge. With the two of wands reverse, I feel like you have no idea where these opportunities, where these doors will lead you to, but trust me, it's gonna be good. Especially if you're committing to whatever feels right internally. And I'm not talking about like old addictive cycles, old impulses. I'm not talking about other people convincing you to do something. I'm talking about the real shit that feels good for you internally. The things that only make sense to you. The things you share with other people and they say, that's crazy, you're gonna try that? Fuck yes, I'm gonna try that. I'm feeling also for a lot of you like sobriety or detoxing. Um, I'm also feeling like therapy, like psychotherapy, exploring the mind, the subconscious. This is really good because Pluto in your sign is helping you purge your old mindsets and shift your perspectives. This is really helping you know, the collective, all of us, purge the mind, but because Pluto is in your sign, your sun, moon, or rising sign, like you're gonna feel this amplified and you should use that energy because if you work with that energy, you will be carried like a sailboat in the water, just like carried. But if you fight it, it's gonna be a long battle, okay? Like this is a 20 year cycle. So if you're noticing that there are old ideas coming up, fears, anxieties, habits, belief systems, impulses, like. Notice that that shit is coming up for release to clear it out because you're done. You don't need that kind of behavior, that kind of story in your mind for this next chapter because you've already matured to that level. You've already like outgrown that experience and now you're ready to move forward. Pluto will help you go through a death and rebirth process. It's gonna take some time, of course, it's a 20 year cycle, but like you need to use this energy. I have a pay what you can workshop um, for Aquarius season and for Pluto in Aquarius. So go and watch that after. You can pay $1, I don't care, but like you need to watch that, okay? You have the devil card here and you have a four of cups with it and the nine of swords. So this and the eight of swords, they're both together, okay? This is really telling a story about your past and what you've been working through up until now. So. This devil card, these are old toxic people, connections, beliefs, addictions, habits. These are things, ideas, behaviors that really have been draining your energy. And I feel like you are so sick of your own shit that you're just like, I'm fucking fed up. I can't stay here anymore. I can't um, be in this relationship. I can't continue these behaviors or allowing other people to treat me like that. I can't, like whatever you've just been like, oh, it's okay, I'm just, it's like, okay, I'm just getting beat up all the time or I'm like putting myself in a bad situation because I have these old impulses or addictions or whatever. Like you with this four of cups, it's like, bitch, you are so done. It's just like, I can't. And what's beautiful about this, especially because with Pluto in Aquarius, like you're purging the mind. Yes, there's still a little bit of like, Ugh, like, who am I without this person, without this habit, without this lifestyle? But who are you, bitch? You're four of wands, four of wands. You are, <laughs> I also feel like a lot of you are ready and interested in like settling down a little bit more. And maybe that doesn't mean like getting married or in a relationship. Maybe for some of you, for sure, it, it, it means that because this is literally a card of um, like marriage and celebration, etc. So like, Yes, some of you are thinking about that, but more importantly, this four of wands represents safety. And I feel like a lot of you have maybe been stuck 
in old patterns or behaviors or beliefs that actually keep you out of real safety. It keeps you out of that and it keeps you in your comfort zone, which feels safe because it's familiar, but it's not actually benefiting you. It's not actually helping you. So it's not safe. Um, so now you have this opportunity to close that door. And I feel like you're willing and ready to close that door and lock it and fucking throw away the key. It's like, you don't wanna go back. You don't wanna go back to that kind of behavior, that person, whatever. Now, with this seven of coins reverse, you're really, boom, death card. And the two of cups, I love this. Finding better balance. And also, a lot of you have maybe been living too heavily in like your divine masculine energy, but in like a toxic way. So like hard work all the time, trying to constantly prove yourself or trying to fight for resources or maybe scarcity mindset or there's not enough or you're not love lovable or um, whatever. But it's just like your divine feminine and masculine energy are now bouncing out, which means you are, I feel like opening up to be more vulnerable with yourself, with other people. I feel like there's a deep dive because Pluto in Aquarius is helping you clear the deep subconscious programs in the mind. So these are the old things. This is like when your parents divorced and you told yourself, like maybe you thought or you told yourself like, oh, like my daddy doesn't love me or like this or this or this. And then it's like, now you've lived your entire life with this idea that you are like, unlovable and it's just like what like that is so outdated like why do you still think that you are un unlovable or that you don't deserve abundance or money because you grew up and money was always hard or it was scarce or whatever your programming is these are just two examples and maybe they don't resonate but you have some program in your mind pluto is helping you purge that and that's what we need to dive into especially you okay you have strong Aquarius energy in your birth chart. You need to watch the Pluto in Aquarius workshop after this, okay? Again, you can pay whatever you want. Like, I don't care, but you need to help yourself. You are understanding how to stop self-sabotaging. You are now understanding how to really support yourself and your own growth and how to get out of your mind, get into your body, get into your emotions, get into trusting your intuition because like the universe is always communicating with you. But if you are constantly distracted or chasing pleasure because you're avoiding pain, then it's like you're stuck in this loop and you're so stimulated and you're so overwhelmed and you're so busy or you're keeping yourself busy and you're um, whatever. And it's like all these things are happening, 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 happening. It's distraction. It's all distraction so it's like you now are understanding how to use your body as a tool to help you better understand your intuition and better trust yourself and trust your path and like that will lead you to actual abundance like two of cups that will lead you to an actual healthy relationship you also have the lovers card okay lovers this is opening doors and choices for you you have the world card here because you are so done with some approach, some outdated belief about yourself. And it's just like, it's time to celebrate. Like you need to celebrate yourself. You need to celebrate even if the path up until now was hard, even if you've experienced a lot of struggle, like you have fucking survived. You're still here, bitch. Like I love you. So like, congratulations to you. So take a minute. I'm really hearing actually like really strong, like take a minute not even a minute, like take an hour, take a moment, a long ass moment for yourself. Go out, buy yourself something cute. It doesn't need to be expensive. Like get yourself, you know, a dessert, something sweet. Like treat yourself to something nice. Bring home a new white. I'm also hearing purple, a purple candle. And I would get a bowl and I would add salt into that bowl. I would put the candle in it. Okay, that salt is going to clear all the old bullshit and it's going to uh, protect your energy. I would get the bowl, light a candle, and I'm also hearing flowers or some kind of plant, but something new, bring it. And use that to literally celebrate yourself. Write yourself a letter, 
recognizing how far you've come and everything that you've been going through because like you're really some bitch something in your motherfucking mind is about to click so it's like go for it accept it celebrate who you are i feel like not enough people say like i'm proud of you so i just want to let you know like i'm proud of you i'm here i'm also an air sign like it's been fucking rough out here for us so like you're good. You are leveling up in such a new way. And I feel like, again, having Pluto in Aquarius is bringing so much personal power to allow you to reinvent yourself in all new ways and to just level the fuck up, accessing new abundance, expansion, opportunity. So keep your eyes open for all these new opportunities. I really think, especially with this, especially with this nine of cups, this is like satisfaction, joy, expansion, opportunity. So go out and have fun. Connect with people like three of cups. Connect with other people who make you feel good. Not because you're out, you're getting shit faced and you're like, you know, doing drugs and being stupid and like thinking, oh, this like short lived fun is really good for me. Like no bitch, like go have a game night, like a game night, a sober ass game night with your friends and just enjoy laughing. Go and paint something, go horseback riding, like do something simple that connects you with your inner child and connects with other people who you all just like inner child play together because like we're so done with this old toxic behavior thinking that that's going to help us feel good. Like it's just not. And anyways, I just, I feel like you really need to understand that you are opening a new door and starting a whole new journey. And like, this is fucking big for you. So I love you. Go and watch the Aquarius season workshop. That one you can literally pay whatever you want. The Pluto in Aquarius is also sliding scale so you can choose your price. I fucking love you. Send this to a friend, share it on your story. I'm here, I support you, support me back. I fucking love you. Leave me a comment, I'll see you very soon. Ciao.